This is Kirk Sinclair, the Hiking Humanitarian. Our first community experience on the American Discovery Trail journey was in a town called Lock, California. This was a Chinese enclave during the Gold Rush era, and the compact housing we saw reflected that culture. Now, Locke is home to a variety of artists and craftsmen, the type of folks who do better with community economics than corporate economics. Community economics is part bartering, with people trading goods or services with each other to compensate for their lack of currency, which is often the case with uh, artists and other kinds of tradesmen. While we were there, I traded my book Systems Out of Balance for a cutting board made by Craftsman Russell. He happened to be the person, uh, our support person, Kai, first met in a post office, and he invited us to stay in lock. Community economics is also part sharing. We saw in lock single-family residences that were made into multiple-family residences. Neighbors worked together in the community garden and shared community meals. We joined them for both while we were there. Our contribution to the community meals was scorp, good old raisins and peanuts, with a good measure of M&Ms thrown in. During hard economic times, community economics becomes a salvation for many. An economics based more on goodwill than buyers beware. Throughout our journey, we encountered various examples of community economics, but our first encounter in Locke was the most comprehensive. This is Kirk Sinclair, the Hiking Humanitarian.